The name of this song is A Wreck of the Old 97. Now this is written by Jackson Louie and Charles Knoll, and it's based on an actual happening, uh, a train wreck, in September 27th, 1903. And the old 97 was part of the Southern Railway freight train and uh, carried the mail, and it never was late. They called it the fast mail. And when it arrived in Monroe, Virginia, it was late. Uh, it was running late. But uh, they told uh, he, he, the engineer, uh, the name was Brody, they called him Steve. That wasn't his name, but they called him Steve. And he was told, you got to get to Spencer on time. So he was pushing, pushing that train. And uh, he come come around the corner. He had to come around the corner into a trestle. And he tried to slow down, and he couldn't. He, he locked up the engine, and uh, it still derailed, went flying off down in the ravine, killed 11 people, seven survived, and they survived because they jumped off the train before it went down into the trestle. And that was near Danville, Virginia. They called it the Stillhouse Trestle. And this, uh, this, this, was recorded in 1924 by uh, Vernon Dahlhardt, and it was the first million-selling country song that was recorded. So here we go. Rick, the old 97. 